Welcome to the War Room. If you're a contractor watching this right now, you're probably sitting in a post-storm environment. This is Anthony Del Medico, SVG founder and CEO, and I'm here today to present the SVG Phase 1 Sales Training System, which is going to help you help your customers rebuild, increase your sales, dominate your space, and make a lot of money. Let's talk about the first, the most important thing that's included in the SVG Phase 1 Sales Training System. This system comes with a branded contingency agreement and service agreement. Uh, when I mean branded, we actually get your logo, get your put your logo up there, your company information, your address, your phone number, your license. Uh, both agreements have all the terms and conditions on the back. Uh, we have hundreds of contractors using these agreements across the country right now. Uh, the difference between a contingency agreement and a service agreement will be brought up in another conversation. Some of you guys are using a contingency, some of you guys are using a service. We include both in the SVG Phase 1 sales training system. It's up to you as the entrepreneur to figure out which one you want to use, okay? All right, guys, so let's talk about the individual, the associate you need to get these contracts signed, these agreements signed. We call it our sales associate. So this comes in our phase one sales training system as a recruiting ad, compensation agreement, a sales training manual, how to get the sales associates trained in. Uh, we have both pay plans. Some of you guys are using off top line revenue uh, commission plans. Some of you guys are using gross profit pay plans. We've included both. There's also an 18 page um, independent contract agreement in here for both of those pay plans for your independent contractor or salesperson, okay? There's accountability rules in here, uh, uh, commission rules, termination rules. All the pain that I already went through in 15 years is, is, in, is in, in these uh, pay plans and hiring agreements. Also comes with a uh, recruiting ad, and then we also got recruiting visuals, uh, which are helpful when you're doing face-to-face -face interviews. Show guys how they get paid, how the commissions work, all that good stuff, both on gross profit and uh, top line revenue. So that's uh, that's the sales associate position in the phase one sales training system. Guys, next in the uh, phase one sales training system is a training manual. We call it Mobilizing the Barbarian Horde. So how do we recruit? How do we effectively find, recruit, and train in 5, 10, 15, 20 of these sales associates? As an owner, you're either building jobs or you're meeting adjusters or you're out inspecting properties or hopefully selling some big jobs, you don't have time to do 100 phone interviews, 25 face-to-face -face interviews, um, constant one-on-one -on -one training with, with this guy and that guy. So we've developed a thing called uh, the sales coordinator recruiter position, which is a guy or gal. Um, we have a recruiting ad for this position, what to pay that person. We have a uh, IC agreement. Again, this all comes branded. You'll see different logos on some of this stuff just to show you how we brand this stuff up for contractors. This comes with an 18-page IC agreement of uh, how to hold that position accountable, you know, how many how many interviews they need to be doing, how many guys they need to book into the Phase 1 sales training program, um, how many phone interviews, how many resumes, where to place ads, how to place ads, um, and, then a, and then offering that position also uh, a variety of different sales recruiting ads at work and where to place them. Um, there's also a sales tracker pipeline sheet. So once they interview all their people, how to follow up and retain them, get them into a Phase 1 sales orientation and hopefully retain them on your team. So everything to do with that position, which is a key position, it's one of the first positions I hired. Whenever I opened an office or whenever a storm hit my backyard where I had an existing construction or roofing company, the first person I hired was a sales coordinator recruiter because that was my conduit to get more sales associates on a board immediately and my conduit to increased revenue from increased contracts being signed. Okay, guys, once we have our sales associate position put in place, once we have our sales coordinator recruiter hired, we need to set up this process. It's a system to get our guys trained in. We call it the phase one sales orientation. It's really the meat of this program. Okay, how do I set one up? What days do I set it on? How many hours does this training consist of? What kind of bells and whistles? What kind of stuff do I need to bring to this training so I can get eight, nine, ten guys trained in? over a period of four hours on how to sign service agreements, continuous agreements, and perform basic property inspections. So our phase one sales training system consists of, you know, we send all this stuff to you branded up, but literally hundreds of slides, PowerPoint slides, on hail and wind damage on properties, on uh, how to deal with insurance restoration projects, um, on how to conduct skit training. There's a video that goes with this, a three hour video that I did uh, with a group of guys in a phase one, how to do skit training during that phase one to get folks comfortable, to get new people comfortable with signing and inking service agreements and contingency agreements. That's the whole goal of the Phase 1 Sales Training Program, okay? So this manual gets handed out at the Phase 1 Sales Orientation. This coincides with the PowerPoint, one of the best training, best four-hour blocks of training probably in the industry. We also send you a cool war room poster. A lot of guys blow this up. You'll see this on guys' walls. 
That means they're actually utilizing a phase one sales orientation system. And then a lot of cool stuff uh, like laminated hill damage photos, you know, where you put your storm on the back. These are great show and tell pieces at the door that we, that we teach guys to use during skit training is a laminated storm track photo and a close up of storm damage. Um, all this stuff is part of the phase one sales training system that we send to you. Uh, community alerts with your logo on them that sales guys would use at the door as lead behinds. And uh, of course, our three simple steps, which is the process. This is the process the new sales associate learns in the phase one sales training orientation. So from the door knock to the hello, my name is, to the hey, we're here to do the free property inspection, to taking the photographs, and then sitting down with that customer to walk them through the three steps to ensure that their, their claim has been filed and that there's a date set with the adjuster and that the contractor has a time to meet back with that adjuster, which is part of the three simple steps and the process of getting the service or the contingency agreement signed. This, in essence, is the phase one sales orientation part of our system. All this stuff, again, comes branded up in your company name with your company logo. All right, guys. Once we got all those guys through phase one sales orientation, let's say we got 10 guys. Now we got to set up our field training blitz protocol. What happens in the next 90 days? What happens in the next 240 hours? What are we going to do as owners and managers to keep these new folks out there in the field and retained? Trained and retained. Attention equals retention. So what's most importantly, what I noticed over the years, you know, you get 10 guys in a room, they go through this orientation, they get all pumped up. About half of them, you know, two weeks later, you're going to have 50% attrition. That's okay. You get 10 guys in a room. If you have five and uh, five guys in two weeks, that's not bad. If you have two or three guys two weeks after that and they become top sales producers, that's actually a good statistic. So the idea is to run your phase one sales orientation once a month or twice a month until you build the team you need in a post-storm environment. So let's talk about some things. You know, this is a very in-depth, we call it our field training, field training blitz protocol. This is how to set up a three or four day blitz to get all those guys trained in and how to hire a field trainer. So we have a we have a field trainer that we're going to hire and de or deputize from our, from our current team. And we have a field trainer, uh, recruiting ad, pay plan, position description. What do I pay this guy or gal? How do I bonus them? How do I compensate them? How do I hold them accountable to do their job? How do I hold them accountable to run our blitz, which we recommend three days a week, three or four days a week from 2 p.m. to 7 for residential, half day to three-quarter day on Saturday. So there's a whole blitz protocol set up in here to effectively get those guys trained in. Because if you get these new sales associates out in the next 24 to 72 hours and they ink their first deal, you're going to retain them. They're going to feel that success. If they don't ink their first deal and they float around for three, four, five days, nobody talks to them, you're going to lose that new salesperson. So your, your chance, your opportunity to get those guys excited and pumped up is to get them out in the field and inking their first deal. So we call it our 240-hour checklist. Okay, And your field trainer should be monitoring this along with your sales coordinator. Are these things happening? Did, he, did, they, did they complete their phase one sales orientation, right? Did they get their first set of business cards? Did they get orientated on a map? Did they take a, field, uh, a ride along with a field trainer or their sales guy? Did they go through field training? Did they go through an adjustment? Did they go through their goal setting workshop? Did they sign their IC agreement? All these things that you as an owner, did they get their business cards? Did they sign their first deal? That's the number one thing that should happen in the first 72 hours of phase one sales orientation. And this is what your sales coordinator and your field trainer should be mutually managing and making sure it happens because if they retain that salesperson, he's going to become an effective producer for you, hopefully doing $100,000 a month or more in sales. Okay, so that's a nice checklist. Uh, it also comes with a pipeline report that you can monitor the activities of those sales. You can monitor the activities of, of uh, signed contracts. You can also jump this data into a CRM. I know a lot of you guys are using CRMs, but we like we include these uh, pipeline reports so that you can dump them into your CRM as you, as you feel fit, Okay. So this gives you this this gives you the ability to monitor the performance of the field trainer who's now monitoring the performance of all the new sales guys in the field, in essence, hopefully retaining them and leading to increased sales. The next thing in our SVG phase one sales training system is the vision statement exercise or our goal setting workshop. So we put together a comprehensive one for the owners. So the owner starts with his financial goal for the end of the year. So this is a nice exercise for you owners to do or you entrepreneurs to figure out how many salespeople you need to hire. What's your average contract size? How many jobs? And you back that from your financial goal you want to do it, you know, you want to do at the end of the year. So it starts with the owner. Then you got the vision statement or goal setting workshop for the managers. So your field trainer, your sales coordinator, they got to be part of that process. And you have an individual one here for them. And then the one that I think is real important is those individual sales associates. So they start, you know, with their financial goal at the end of the year. I hey, I want to make 
150,000 by December 2017. What do they have to do to make 150,000? You know, everybody says, hey, you're going to be rich. It's better to actually take them through a plan. What do I got to do every month? How many deals do I sign? How many jobs do I got to turn in at this average contract size in order to reach my financial goal? And then this allows you to monitor their performance every month. Uh, the vision statement exercise and goal say workshop is the glue that holds all this together. Keeps everybody motivated. So guys, what you've seen here today is the pieces of the puzzle of the phase one sales training system that's going to help you scale your sales department with the right sales associates, with the right pay plans, with the right key managers, and the right training systems to get these agreements signed. Don't forget, he who inks the most contingency or service agreements in the first 90 days after that storm hits wins the game. Let's go to war.